The surge in Bitcoin has been parabolic, to say the least. But can you buy a home with the cryptocurrency? Let's bring in Samantha DiBianchi, founder of DiBianchi Real Estate. And you may know her from the Million Dollar Listing Miami show on Bravo. So Samantha, how would this work? Are people actually doing this? People have done it. Now, there's not a lot of people that have, but it's very, very tricky because as we know, there's so much volatility. One day, Bitcoin's worth something. The, the next day, it's worth nothing. So there's so many questions that come into play. Number one, how do you hold Bitcoin in escrow? Escrow is generally something that's to show good faith, but how do you show good faith in something that you don't know exactly what it's worth today versus tomorrow? And then, of course, the fact of, you know, there's there's some positives. I mean, there was someone in Texas who was buying a $4 million home. And when he came to the closing table, he converted it to U.S. dollars because that is generally what's done. Sellers aren't accepting it as Bitcoin, but instead converting it to U.S. dollars. And he made out making an extra $1.3 million. And he bought a Lamborghini with it because that's, oh. again, what you know, normal people do. <laughs> well, aren't there all <laughs> sorts of tax implications too? I mean, it, it would seem like the Bitcoin would just complicate that. Right. It does complicate that. And again, there is a huge question mark with that because it's not, Bitcoin is not taxed as currency. It's taxed as property. So again, I think there's so much question that comes into that and people don't know what to do. So instead of accepting it as Bitcoin, they're just converting it to cash at closing. Mm. The one good thing that I can say is the blockchain. I do like the blockchain. Um, again, I'm not 100% on it just yet, but it does seem like a very streamlined, efficient system, especially for tracking documents, especially in real estate. Um, but other than that, using it as currency is it's tricky for sure. So do you see a world within the next year or so where sellers would actually accept Bitcoin in exchange for a property, not cash? You know, I do. And... Although there's a lot of questions, although, although there, in my opinion, will be a lot of lawsuits right now as well if you use Bitcoin, I do think that we're moving in the direction of having more cryptocurrencies accepted. I think it's a matter of time, but I think that there's a lot of voids to fill, and that's the problem. But I do see the future with Bitcoin being accepted. Huh. And quickly, before we let you go, would you want to be paid as a real estate broker your commission in Bitcoin? Right now, no. Right now, I like cold, hard cash, and I like to have something in my hand, and I like U.S. dollars. But, you know, again, maybe in a few years, that might be changing. All right, Samantha DeBianchi, we'll leave it there. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.